Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Evil Within. We are still stuck inside this elevator. <laughs> As we know, Rubik is not very happy with me, so... Are we back outside? Oh, shit. Building to having some kind of leakage problem. Somebody call the plumber. Oh shit. Oh. We are definitely back outside. I can't look any higher than this. Oh, are you kidding me? Hold on. Alright, there we go. And again, I had to fix my mouse sensitivity. Uh, oh man. The whole city flooded? Oh, I hate being in the water. Oh, I hate being in the water. You know what? It's your fault, man. Again, I'm gonna. Yeah. Whew. Oh man. I'm just waiting for the rumbling to stop. I thought the dust was gonna clear out and so I think post apocalyptic first person shooters can really take this as a really good example. You know what I'm feeling right now with this setting coming from the same developer, the same engine, settings. I'm sensing the Doom 4 vibe right here. Devastated city or world, I guess, as Doom would put it. And just masses of demons just crawling all over you. I am so looking Looks forward like to that Asylum's game. The only building left untouched. How can that be? Because Rubik said so. I am so looking forward to the Doom 4 coming out. I don't know if it's going to be 2015 as speculation has it. Or... The only thing that scares me about Doom 4 is... The ridiculous restraints Bethesda... Has been putting on to their games as of late. So I mean, you already know. Uh, can you get up here? I don't think. Yeah, you can't get up, but I need to get that. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go, I got it. So I can't get up there, okay. Come on! Something about Bethesda and invisible walls. Invisible walls are just, they should be non-existent in modern gaming. Period. This game has plenty of them. The last game I can recall that I really enjoyed by Bethesda was Rage. Sure, it's a highly under, extremely underrated game. It's a lot of fun. It's a blast. I actually wouldn't mind playing that game again. But the invisible walls. City is shit. I'm definitely getting Doom 4 vibe out of this. It's like. This is. What would you call it? This game is an alpha stage as the devs prep for Doom 4 <laughs> with the settings and. Wait. Did the city just shift upward or did I go? I think I went down. I have no idea. It's kind of amusing or uh, interesting how it just 
plays with your mind like that. It's just it shifts you from one scenery to another. I really do like the shift in. Uh... Here we go again. I really do like the change in pace of this game. They put you in different environments, different settings, different challenges. Yeah, I have been. Oh my god. Yeah, I have been downright just nitpicking like all the flaws that have been pissing me off in this game, and those flaws, they are there. You know, clunky controls. Speaking of the flaws of this game, I, uh, after I finished the last chapter, I have been reading reviews and opinions on the web based on this game. Evidently, you know, from my point of view, I thought the controls were clunky because I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. I thought it would have worked out better with a joystick. But apparently, they're saying the same thing. They, they hate the controls of this game. They said the only thing that's making this game scary are the crappy controls. And honestly, I have said the same thing. Except, instead of saying what's making it scary... I put it as the only thing that's making it hard. More sniper ammo. So I mean, if only the controls were natural and fluid and should I say normal, this game wouldn't be so... I'm just gonna say barbaric because that is how bad the controls are. I came from that door, right? Yeah. But yeah, I've been reading reviews, um, good things are being said about this game and bad things, you know, bad being that. I got a map fragment, no, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, clunky control, that seems to be, how should I put it, the second biggest complaint this game's gotten? You wanna know what the number one complaint is that I find to be utterly ridiculous? I got a magnum. Holy shit. That thing's gotta be a beast. You know, I wish they had stats that would tell you how much damage the weapons do. Instead, you only get, like, the percentage increase or time, um, you know, for fire rate or just percentage increase for damage. It doesn't give you the actual stats, because I don't know how necessary... Actually, will my pistol upgrades apply to this? Um, let's see. Yeah, clip size 6. It doesn't say how much ammo I have. Man, my menu. I remember when I started off. Actually, I don't remember when I started off. I think I had nothing in this menu. And then it came down to having maybe two or three items. I mean, now look at it. This, you know, I, I enjoy the little things like this in game. You just see how much you have improved. Um, I don't know why they can't have two separate slots for the shotgun because I've also heard a lot of people have overlooked this part. They don't know where the double barrel shotgun is. What you have to do is you have to hover over your shotgun and then press your reload key to switch between shotguns and then equip it or press the E key, your use key to equip it in your hand, you know, to, to load it up. Um, but here's the Magnum. What does that plus sign mean? Okay, I have six bullets in it and I can only carry six. Okay. So technically I can carry 12 because 6 in the clip and 6 in my stock. So I'm going to have to wait on it. So okay, so what was I talking about? The complaints that this game was receiving. The number one complaint that I am finding all over the place that gamers are complaining about are the black bars, the letterboxing. People are... 
or, or they're going as far as to say that the black bars take up two third of your screen. I mean, are you really trying to emphasize just how bad the letterbox is interfering with your screen? I mean, I can barely notice the letterbox. I've complained about it slightly in my first video. I still remember it. But I said it's something I can definitely get used to. And I have. And what gamers are failing to realize is devs are trying to make this into a cinematic experience. Of course, they failed to do that when they decided to cap the game out at 30 frames per second. I mean, I don't care who you are. In modern gaming, 60 should be the minimum. And of course, I can go into a whole rant on frame rates. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I feel like, I mean, are none of these cabinets going to open up? You know what? Let's just move on. So far, I've already picked up a, uh, a statue and a map fragment pretty early on too I do recall the last time I was in a lit up setting we were just ambushed by hordes of nothing hordes of zombies this place is in caving it's caving in Oh, it's giving you the sense that the building just keeps closing in more and more. This would be fucking scary to do in real life. Especially that trembling and, and you... Oh my god, it's not gonna squash me, is it? <laughs> See, if Rubik had absolute control of this world, he would have just squashed me right there. Wait, what? Was that a med kit? So if you recall, after I defeated Law, I accidentally used the med kit. But then after I defeated her, I have to get off the computer for a bit. So I came back on later and rebooted the game, and the checkpoint set me somewhere during in the middle of Laura's battle. So I had to fight her all over again and, and I got to play that smarter. I, I didn't accidentally use my med kit. So now I have two med kits, which is great. I am maxed out on syringes. Wondering if I'm going to need to uh, increase the max to four. I mean, either concentrate on the stock or allow it to regenerate more of my health. My light is still on. Nice. Uh, let's see here. What's going on, mannequin? What do you guys got for sale today? I already hijacked your little met. You know, come here. I'm gonna give you a tip. Come here. Are you kidding? I can't reach that one. All right, climb up the table. Climb ah, uh, he win this round, man. Again, I could shoot you, but I don't want to waste the bullet. I so badly want to try out the Magnum. I really do. Okay, so this, I don't know how many times I've been coming across matchsticks and I'm just maxed out. Now the eye icon is popping up. My light on? No. Yeah, I can definitely hear him. Oh, you saw me already. Did you see that? He's wearing... The main reason I shot him in the cap was because there were extra matches sitting here. 
But then I noticed he's wearing what looks like a metallic mask. If this city's gonna be full of guys like that, that's gonna be bullshit. No headshots. So I think I'm starting to understand why you're behind the fence. Are you tied there? Nope, he just wants through. I'm gonna leave him alone. I don't wanna be drawing any attention. Actually, can I melee him through the fence? Ah, He's gonna act like he doesn't see me. I didn't miss anything, did I? So there are other cons about this game that players have been pointing out that I feel like I should elaborate on just so things might make a little more sense about this game. For example, his stamina. We can all agree his stamina is shit. I complain about it too. I mean, I can't stand that he can only run for three seconds. And then he's about to pass out. I can't stand it. But over time... Okay, that didn't prompt before. Green gel. Um, before... Yeah, I would complain about it. But then I started thinking about it. You know, we're in Rubik's mind. Who knows how dense the air is. You know, he controls the atmosphere. He controls the settings. You know what we go through so maybe he has done something to apply pressure to our lungs to our body which is why we move so slow and we get exhausted so easily is he gonna see me so you know over time i was able to think that one through and it makes a little more sense for me. What's this? Grenades. Ninety nine. Yeah, I think there's one behind me. I heard one. I'm gonna melee this guy. Oh. So is he trying to hug me? <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. I am not aim- <sighs> That missed. Oh no. Oh no. Get your ass up. Does uh melee to that? Just out of curiosity, does it affect your stamina too? Uh, this might have Nope. Oh, you know what? I, I also remember something about holding I timed that pretty badly. Something about holding the right mouse button while you melee. Oh my god, you just can't see the controls are just so bad. And I wonder what is the point of upgrading your melee? That knock him down? Wait, is that him? He's not dead. Yeah, you're not dead. I should have stomped your ass, but I wasn't sure if that was you. <laughs> See, this is ridiculous. What? What the hell? I have no idea what happened there, but... Ah, finally. See, I'm trying to kill him quietly, even though it takes 10 minutes, because I'm sure there are other zombies around. Should I burn them? I mean, I feel like there's going to be plenty of matchsticks around.
I'm gonna try to use some more flash bolts, do some stealth killing. They're just so cheap to build. Now, what other cons about this game can I clear up? Um, other than the ones that are just straight up cons, like, you know, upgrading your melee ability, just still taking so many shots to kill them. Okay, can I get to him from here? Shotgun rounds? Shotgun rounds. Oh shit. Come on. There we go. So the whole time I was running around over there, he didn't see any of it, huh? Oh yeah, I was completely exposed and he did not see me the whole time. Gosh dang it, why do the... I guess the green gel take a little bit of time to expel from the corpses. I need to look around because sometimes ammo and stuff are just... They're pretty hidden where they can be. Oh, that shotgun rounds so I guess I could make use of my shotgun rounds I mean I'm maxed out the only thing that's left to do is to increase its clip capacity I have grenades too should probably hold out on that Oh. Okay. How many shotgun shells were there? Alright, what I meant to do was hit both of you at the same time. But I can do it to you guys instead. Shit. What are you doing over there? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh my god. The shotgun just feels absolutely underpowered in this game. There's no way they should be expecting you to upgrade your shotgun to level 5 in order for it to actually feel like a shotgun. Again, poor design. I mean, I feel like I'm wasting green gel to upgrade a shotgun just so it actually feels like one. Oh wait, there were shotgun shells. What was it at? Like right here? Yeah. Yeah, other thing people are talking about is when you kill enemies with the melee, it doesn't feel satisfying. And it's actually true. I think I'm cornered now. I'm cornered, okay. Let's go over here. <laughs> I don't know why I went for three strikes right there. 
I've never done that before. Somebody else behind me? I think I could have done it again right there. Yeah, it just does not feel satisfying. What? Hi, buddy. Ooh! Really? Stay on the other side of the fence. Another one. See, that guy was wearing a metal mask. What's there to pick up here? Is there another one? Is there an infinite swarm here or what? Or do I gotta reload? I don't know why you couldn't reload the first time, but yeah. I mean, I sit here fapping that reload button and... <sighs> Alright, this is the time to use one of them. May as well, right? Yeah, that's another thing about this game. Upgrade, there are certain abilities that if you upgrade, you absolutely feel like it's just wasting a crap load of green gel. And I know, I got a feeling you're not going to have enough green gel to upgrade everything in your arsenal. So you're kind of limited. And some of the shit you upgrade, like for example, the melee. I feel like that does absolutely nothing. Upgrading the, uh... The... Shotgun. He's wearing, a. Uh, see? You see that metal helmet? I don't think that actually killed him. Did it? That green goo? That's green goo. Uh, there were boxes over here. I already broke them, huh? Are you kidding me? Now, I know it's not going to kill him. Well, I would have expected to it at least knock him down. Because I was going to run over there and just burn him, but... You guys are just... Oh my god. I don't want to waste ammo. I've already picked up his stuff, right? Yeah. What about you? Green gel? Thank you. I'll take some of that. Or oh, green goo. How much you get for killing the sniper? 200? 
You know, that's the thing I don't like is, uh, it really reminds me of Rage. And when you play these games on harder settings, can I not open that? Oh, I can. When you play these games on harder settings, the AI have ridiculous aim botting abilities. They will hit you the instant you're exposed, even if they're firing a poorly accurate weapon like a assault rifle. And I guess I understand they do that in order to increase the challenge of the game. But come on. And we're talking about zombies with guns. You know, what's the logic behind that? <laughs> you know, for a big open city, they really don't give you much to loot. They really don't. can't go up any higher but let's see if there's something up here pistol rounds oh I thought I've used up enough of them I am that 16 so I'm missing four shells I think I used up more than I should have in that last part if I'm going to be running in swarms like that, I got to start learning to use explosive bolts and electric bolts. You know, I bet those are good for mass damage. Really? I can't walk up that curb. Oh my god, I had to press E in order to go up that curb. Like I said, Bethesda and Invisible Walls. And even as much as I'm looking forward to Doom 4, the only thing that scares me is Bethesda. There's probably gonna be... Invisible Walls. All over the place. I'm just looking around for stuff real quick. I mean, you'd think with the wide open area like this, there'd be stuff everywhere. But it's almost like a bunch of raiders just... I was gonna stealth kill that guy. Statue over there. None of these things are gonna come to life, right? I can't shoot it, I can't... Holy crap! If you just want to go one direction, I'm gonna tap the right direction and this is what it does. It goes forward? No. Oh, that's terrible. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is move this thing. So it gets close to wherever it is that I want it so I can shoot it. This right here is going to take up one third of the time of this video. Can it get up there? There we go. Can I hit it now? Alright. More body of water. I didn't miss anything else, right? No crates. Why is there an eye? Does that mean something's here? Something here? Why is that eye icon there? There's a body. Oh, I thought that was really shallow. Right? Am I supposed to go this way? Oh shit. So there is something here.
Well played, game. Well played. Ah. Uh, I fucking hate creatures in water. Are you kidding me? Um, do I have to swim? Oh. Okay, so we have bodies hanging. Are we supposed to use those as bait? Um, how does that work? Is there another body? Here's one right there. I want to bring him up close to me. I want to see what he looks like. Or at least how this works. There he is. He notices it. Here he comes. I want to see what he looks like. They really don't give you a clear picture. Oh man, so I have to swim all the way over there. Oh my god. I don't even want to go in the water, period. Maybe if I had like a rocket launcher, I, I might be a little safe. I'll shoot 10 rockets in there. Just to ensure that that thing's dead. Uh, let's not waste. Oh my god. Oh my god, I I don't don't know. No. <laughs> Hold on, let me. So if you guys been watching my series, if you've seen any other playthroughs I've done, I've talked about my greatest in-game and real-life fears is being in masses in a just a big body of water. Because shit like that. It doesn't even have to be a... A fictional creature. It can just be... Anything in the water. Or just... Alright, here we go. Thing is, I don't know when to go. I'm gonna wait until he's over there. He's already over there? Oh shit! <laughs> I'm so gonna die. This, um, what? Whoa, whoa! Get. You can't get me when I'm in the car, right? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where do I do? I go up here? Go, go. Oh! 